First, measure your dry ingredients. Next, measure out your marine ingredients. Here, I'm combining the granulated sugar and the dried egg white powder. Over simmering water, combine your egg whites and your sh granulated sugar. You wanna whisk until the granulated sugar has dissolved. And you can tell that by picking up the whisk and just filling the egg whites. If you no longer feel any grains, that means your sugar is dissolved. Now transfer your egg whites to your mixer. We're gonna slowly increase the speed to a mid-high speed and beat until we reach stiff peaks. I start on a low speed for about 30 seconds to a minute. Then I increase to a medium speed until I reach soft peaks. At this point, I increase to a medium high speed and whisk until stiff peaks. Let's check the stiffness of our peaks. You'll see here the peak is bending over. This is not stiff peaks. We want to keep going. Now let's check again. You can see how the meringue is within the middle of the whisk. And look at those sharp points. This is stiff peaks. You want to stop. Next, we're going to add our sifted dry ingredients to the meringue. You want to push your dry ingredients through the sifter and discard any large pieces. Fold the dry ingredients into the meringue. And this is just really doing swirls around the bowl and occasionally going through the middle. Keep going until you have the ingredients well incorporated. Your batter looks like a thick lava. Now it's time for the macronage stage. We're gonna continue folding and do occasional strokes through the middle where we spread out the batter. Um, just keep doing this until you reach a ribbon-like stage. Here, you can see the batter is starting to ribbon, but watch how it keeps its shape inside the bowl. It's still too stiff, we wanna keep going. Now look at how the batter is making figure eights and is ribboning off the spatula. And it's starting to fall back into itself in the bowl. This is where we want to stop the macronage stage. Now let's transfer the batter to a piping bag. Cover your work surface with a towel. Use a template if you like and start piping your shells. Once we finish piping, we're going to remove the template and bang our tray onto the towel to release any air bubbles. Any remaining air bubbles, you can use a toothpick or a scribe to help pop those bubbles. After piping and releasing the air bubbles, you wanna rest your shells. This can take anywhere from 15 minutes to one hour. When they are dry, you should have a dull matte finish, and you can rub your finger over the top of the shells and no batter should come off on your finger. And you should also feel that thick skin. Now it's time to bake. I bake for 14 minutes at 300 degrees. You may need to make adjustments depending on your oven. Once our shells are finished, let's make this yummy eggnog filling. This recipe calls for four ingredients. You can use a store-bought eggnog that you prefer. The first step is to cream the butter. Next, I add all of the powdered sugar and start with two tablespoons of eggnog. Next, I check the creaminess to see if it's where I like it. I prefer more cream, so I add an additional tablespoon of eggnog and the nutmeg. I continue beating 
and add one more tablespoon for a total of four tablespoons of eggnog. Now it's time to pair your shells and add your filling. You can dress up macarons by adding simple brush strokes. If you'd like to see a future video on how to dress up your macarons, let me know in the comments below. And while you're here, make sure to check out these other macaron videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a blessed day.